Hospital Porters, Pride and Dignity, Stop the New World Order. Welcome to Herpanwo TV. Right, if you are a regular Herpanwo TV viewer, you will know that um, in September last year, I made a video entitled My Long Lost UFO Photo, uh, which was about a photo I'd taken. This one, which I'd taken in, on holiday in Scotland in 1998. Um, it looked normal at the time, but when I got it back from the chemist developed on the print was an image which looked like a UFO. There's a link in the description box to that video and I also put this one up as a video response to the original Long Lost UFO photo um, video. Um, I, I told you that I mean um, that'll give you the full background anyway I won't go into any more details now but basically I, I did tell you at the time that I would event, I would go and scan it in as quickly as possible so I could analyze it you know and also to preserve it because it was the only copy I had well you know how it is other things came up and I had to keep reprioritizing everything I did and the the photo got on the back burner basically um, well now I've done it and I've scanned it in and here it is this is the, the best um, resolution I could get actually, it's um, 1200 dpi um, and there, there you see is the UFO um, I'm just going to zoom in, now the good thing is now it's, now it's in the camera it's out the camera and out into the computer I can zoom in and we'll have a quick closer look at that UFO as you get closer, come on So it's a bit slow still. There is a, a, a another copy which is only 600 dpi, but this gives better resolution. Okay, that's a, that's about the best distance. Now, the first thing that strikes you is it it is extremely fuzzy, um, and I, was, I thought at first that this was due to resolution, but um, the, you know the resolution of the grain. But I mean, if you if you magnify another feature, say that telegraph pole there. A similar way you'll see that it actually is in much it's much firmer and less fuzzy even though I'm, zo I'm zooming in just as much which leads me to suspect that th this this craft which is a structured craft obviously or structured object whatever it is <clears throat> actually has is surrounded by some kind of smoke or it has lots of small structures on it, or it could be have features on it that are moving very fast. Um, this is what was, you know, several people, including um, a guy called Navy Seal Sniper, have suggested that this is an insect, a flying insect, and it's very difficult to prove them wrong on that. I mean, Scotland is full of midges in the summer, and um, it's it's uh, could be it's perfectly possible that that's what it is. It could be a flaw on the film. It could be several other things. Um, regrettably, you know, with frustration um, and tantalisation, there's no way of really um, proving or disproving that theory. I can't prove that's not what it is. Um, so we have an object which of course is, has a central black core, a very darkly coloured core here, and this lighter beige surrounding. I mean, it looks kind of square shaped actually. I mean, if I had to give it, I, I described it as a classic saucer um, in the last film, possibly a classic saucer shape, but actually it's more square, I, I would suspect. Um, there's some darkness under here, and very much lighter here. Um, there are, seems to be two slight structures on either side here. As if they're like two bubble domes, you know? Or something like that. Like a classic saucer, but there's two of the domes on top. Um, there it is. And if you zoom out a bit, these, these structures are actually easy to see when you zoom out slightly. Um, these things on top. Um, I will send anyone copies. If someone wants a copy of... Um, the original photo, I will file share it to them free. Just you just send me an email, I'll go or PM, and I'll I'll file share them to you. Um, also, the on the Herpanmo blog, I'm going to put the photo up. Not in its not the original size photo, unfortunately, it's a smaller version, but it'll be on the Herpanmo blog as well. Um, 
It's funny though, when I actually scanned it, I actually got it in. I noticed something else strange as well. Um, here, there's, there's, some, there's another strange object here. Now, I could be letting my imagination run away from me, but I don't think that's a car. It's possible it's a car parked sort of halfway down. There's sort of some sort of building here. I've tried to find... I've tried to find, and I think I have found the location of this on on Google Earth, and I went to Street View. Unfortunately, since you know, since this was taken, which is 1988, that's 12 years ago. Um, these trees are now much higher. They've grown an awful lot, and they're basically. If I was, if you was driving down here today, or walk, if I tried to take this photo in the same spot today, I wouldn't see anything because there'd be trees all the way up, just about as high as that. <clears throat> so if you uh, have any further comments on anything to do with this photograph and um, the nature of the strange object, if that's what it is, in there, um, please let me know. But to tell you the truth, um, I don't hold out much hope. There's, um, you know, this really, it's, it's really very, very vague. I mean, it's not exactly a close encounter, you know. Um, very, very little detail can be seen of the strange um, object on the in the sky there. Um, if any of you want to run this through some more sophisticated image analysis then and you know please do let me know the results if you do. I don't actually have that kind of software on my computer. I uh, can't get it at the moment. Well thank you for watching Hapanwo TV. Hospital Port's Pride and Dignity stop the New World Order. <laughs>